Terrain AI is fundamentally about developing new standards around the measurement, monitoring, verification, and reporting of carbon stocks and emissions across complex terrestrial environments. We're looking at all of these natural environments, agriculture, forestry, and, uh, and peatlands, and we're looking at uh, how humans interact and manage those. If you know where the emission is coming from, you can now deliver a spatially refined policy focused on that specific source or location. The training data that we're bringing together for Train AI is quite unique. There's no other research project that has really brought so much environmental data, data about the world around us together. There is a lot of um, multi-thematic data sets involved from space-borne sensors right down to in situ sensors, and uh, it's of petabyte scale. So we've got a high volume of data coming through. How do we take that information and extract the maximum information we can from that data and even generate new information around human activities? This is essential because it's the human activity that drives the emission off the landscape. We need to not only be able to measure these uh, greenhouse gas uh, emissions, but also communicate that with the end uh, users. So these are the national representative uh, groups like farming associations, landowners and foresters. Once we get to that, really accurate level of carbon measurement. You know, farmers can ultimately become carbon traders themselves. The carbon sequestration that they're doing on their own land, they should be able to trade that on global carbon markets. We've got the opportunity, obviously, uh, as a global company like Microsoft, to really help scale the solutions uh, out globally. If we can produce more reliable and more accurate estimates of carbon stocks and emissions across the landscape, we provide the scientific evidence base to inform much more refined policy that can deliver a measurable reduction in carbon emissions.